Did you know vaccines existed way before Edward Jenner got all the credit? Yeah, turns out humans have been poking themselves for protection way before 1796. In China, around the 10th century, people literally sniffed powdered smallpox scabs to build immunity. Because nothing says good health like a nose full of dead virus. Meanwhile in India, our ancestors weren't going to miss out on the fun. They'd rub smallpox pus into scratches on children's arms, supervised by Brahmin priests, of course. Europeans later saw this and went, huh, seems like a great idea, if we make it sound Latin. So they called it variolation and started charging for it. Then enters Edward Jenner, an English doctor who noticed milkmaids with cowpox had flawless skin and no smallpox. Basically, the 18th century dermatology influencer. So in 1796, he took pus from a cow and injected a kid. The kid didn't die. Boom, world's first vaccine. Science achieved, ethics questionable, but more on that later. And that's how humanity went from sniffing scabs to inventing life-saving shots. All thanks to cows, priests, and a doctor with way too much curiosity. Trust the process, just not literally.